John, many congratulations. I think that's why snooker fans enjoy the Crucible, not necessarily the players, but just tell us about that final frame decider. What a match it had been. I just I just couldn't really stand up straight, really, at the end there, really. As I say, it's, it's an unbelievable venue. Even if I lost that match, the, the, the buzz I was getting playing it, especially you had the whole auditorium yourself. I know we were at the side a little bit, but it was just a great, great feeling. Now, you don't really know how many more times you're going to be coming back having those feelings. Uh, and I, I think what, what made me win it was I just enjoyed it. And I was thinking even if I lost, I would have felt this could have been judged time to win it because it must be heartbreaking. You see his mum and dad up there. And it's tough. It is tough. Now, I know what it's like. Uh, but to, to come out winning, brilliant feeling. He said there's virtually nobody else in the world that would have done that under the pressure given how well he played. I don't know. I don't know what it is we mean, Judd. We just seem to be playing classics all the time. And I just seem to be coming back and pit him every time he, he gets off and he's, he's running away with it. And again, he was a better player in that match. I was just hanging on to his coattails. And, God, he must hate the sight of me. But I know I know he, he, he's, he will win it. He will win it without a shadow of a doubt. He's too good a player. He's such a great all-round player now. As I said, he's... he's his tactical game doesn't really get spoke about as well, but he, he, he plays some great, clever tactical shots as well, aligned with his pot and capabilities and things. He'll definitely be back to win it, no doubt. But you're through, back to the single table again? Yeah, yeah, amazing feeling, amazing. And God, that's what you play snooker for, and really, now come out there tomorrow and you see the one table. Ah, yeah, over the moon, over the moon. And another tough opponent as well, potentially. Yeah, Kyron, every respect for him. He's, I think Kyron believes he, he's going to be world champion, if not this week, sometime in the future. And he, he's a really professional young guy, you know, when you see him round about and he keeps himself to himself, him and his coach. He just gets down to practice. He's all business and uh, he's learning every year and he just seems to be getting progressing, pro progressing. And... Uh, no, it's going to be a, a mammoth semi-final again. It's interesting, isn't it, when you look at you know the sort of I say old stages, the greats of the game like yourself, Mark Williams have got through, and then you've got the likes of uh, Karen Wilson. It feels like the sort of new generation against the class of '92, doesn't it? Yeah, well, I mean Barry, Barry's he, he's obviously the like the likes of me and Mark. I think Barry's was he 39 or something, and he, he's 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 really now probably they say he's got the best record here in the last five or six years even. Even Selby's won more matches than Selby, and Selby's won it three times. So he's such a such a tough player, and I, I could tell when I played him at the the Welsh that he was getting back to near the top of his game. And then the way he just dismantled Ding really. Now everybody was saying Ding was big favourite to maybe win the event and get Barry just went out and, and battered him really. So uh, that'll be a great match, I'm sure, with him and Mark Williams and, and Matt back playing. Now the, the way he was playing all the years ago, but with the sight right, it's obviously, it's obviously done him the world of good. You say you want to go out there and enjoy, it, you know, a semi final again. But when you get to that stage, it's just about winning, isn't it? No, the semi final. I've said it before. It is the hardest game to ever get through. Now because once you get through a final, you're in the showpiece. There's nothing else you can do. You've just got to give it your all. But if you fall down at semi final stage, it's the it's the worst uh, it's the worst defeat you can have in any tournament. So, hopefully, I'm not not falling down. Okay. Thank you. John, going into that mid-session <coughs> this evening when Judd won that frame to go 11 nine, you gave it a big fist pump. And on Eurosport, Mark said we said there's one player you don't do that to is John Higgins. Did it fire you up a bit? No, no, because I know what it means. I know what it means to, to players and especially Judd. And and obviously, he's, he's people have said he's he's never really beaten me over a, a long distance match. So he maybe felt that frame was it was a turning point where he could maybe go on and, and, and beat me and, and get through to the semis. So no, I, I, nothing. As I said, I know how I know how I know how difficult it is out there. So no, I never took anything personal out of that. No, of course not. And obviously, we all know how mentally tough you are. Was that was that what got you through there at the end, the last few frames? No, I, I, honestly, what got me through was I, I I was just enjoying it. And I, as I said, I've been here before and and I've really been. Feeling the pressure and and uptight about my game and things. I'm, I'm at that stage now in my career. I'm, I'm just enjoying it. I really am, and and it, it seems to be paying off. And I'm, I'm I'm doing okay. So that's the only thing I'm I'm happy about. Uh, 
Um, Mark Williams mentioned the same thing in his press conference as well about just enjoying it yeah. and not feeling the pressure. Is, is that just the experience? And, and well, I mean, I don't know how Mark would be feeling, but when you think of it, Mark never even made it here last year. So you think to yourself, now, whereas, I mean, I've always been here for so many years and maybe Mark, the way he's, he's dismantled his game again and, and brought it back to an unbelievable standard, obviously, with the sight right technique. So he's obviously buzzing as well, and he's, he's, he's won three, three events this season. So but you, you never lose the class, obviously. He was such an amazing player. And, uh, it'd be unbelievable if I had to play Mark Williams in the final. Now, 20 years after I won it, and, and I think he won it 18 years ago as well, it would be, it, it would be incredible, I suppose. Betfred, proud sponsor of the World Snooker Championship.